The date, April 28th, 1988, Hilo, Hawaii. Aloha Airlines Flight 243 is about to make a short flight to Honolulu. Hello, are you the last one to board? Yes. That's weird. Why? There's a crack near the door. Oh, I think it's a little bit of a mechanical flaw. I don't think it's too serious. I'm sure it's nothing important. Okay. On the flight deck today is Captain Robert Schornsteimer, who is 44 years old. Her, his co-pilot is First Officer Madeline Tompkins. At 36 years old, she's the first female pilot for Aloha Airlines. Also on the flight deck is an air traffic controller who is taking the time off to help them out. In all, 89 passengers and 6 crew members are on board the flight. The plane is a 19-year-old Boeing 737-200. At approximately 1.25 p.m., flight 243 takes off for Honolulu. A few minutes into the flight, flight 243 is now at its cruising altitude, 24,000 feet. <laughs> what was that? I don't know! Emergency descent, pre, emergency descent operative. I'm going to descend it to ten thousand to thirty to ten thousand feet. Okay. Declare an emergency. Yeah, I know, man. My tower, Aloha two four three, Aloha two four three. Do you read me? Station calling. Say again. My tower, Aloha two forty three. Station calling. Say again. My Tower, Aloha 243. We're just east of Makia and we are um, descending up to 13,000 feet. We had a rapid decompression. We are unpressurized, declaring an emergency. Is your call sign 242, 243, 244, or 246? 243, Aloha 243. Aloha 243, see your position? We're just east of the Makia point. We're just standing at 13,000 feet. We have a rapid decompression. We are requesting emergency equipment. 243 Heavy Equipment is on the roll. And uh, if, if I get any, I'll advise you if we get any wind change. We're going to, we're going to need assistance. We cannot communicate with the flight attendants. It sounds like we had a door blown off or something. And uh, again, we request emergency equipment and we request assist medical assistance when we land. Okay, I understand you're going to need an ambulance, is that correct? Affirmative. Aloha 243, can you give me your fuel on board and your souls on board? We have 85, 86 plus 5 crew members. Roger, how many, how many do you think are injured? Oh wait, oh I'm sorry Aloha 243, you're, you broke up initially, but I do understand that you're going to need an ambulance, is that correct? Affirmative. Roger, how many do you think are injured? We have no idea. We cannot communicate with the flight attendants. Okay, we'll have an ambulance on the way. Okay, there it is. I see the airport. Get the gear down. You got it. Gear is down. What the heck? Captain, there's no in Robert, there's no indication of the nose gear is down. Oh no. Tell tower. Okay. Tower, my tower, Aloha 243. We're gonna need every equipment that you got. Our nose gear light isn't indicating that the nose gear is down. We're going to need emergency equipment, every equipment available. There it is, I see him. Aloha 243, your gear is down. Aloha 243, you are cleared to land. Okay, we're coming straight in. There it is, I see the runway. Get ready. Brace for impact. You did it, 
Robert. You saved our plane. Not just me, but you. High five. Okay. Another high five. You got it. And you high five. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Plane shut down. I'm going to. Me three. That was close. You said it. Come on down, guys. Aloha Airlines Flight 243 was able to make a successful emergency landing at Maui International Airport in Hawaii. Okay, you're the last one. Yeah! Woo! Only one person. Flight attendant CB Lansing, who was working near the midsection, or who was working in the section where the plane decompressurized, depressurized, was killed instantly when she was sucked out of the plane. Her body was never found, but a memorial garden is built for in her for her honor. However, 95 of the 96 people on board survived. Both Robert Shortsteimer and Madeline Tompkins are still flying for Aloha Airlines and they're still flying for them today. The aircraft involved, N73711, was written off after the accident. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes the first season of Lego Mayday Air Disasters. But don't worry, it's not the end of the world yet. Season 2 is coming soon. See ya.